Hello and welcome to our video on basic industry in EVE Online. Industry is basically where everything comes from in the game. Almost everything in the game is built by players from the ore and minerals and loot and etc. Found and retrieved by players and it all starts here with blueprints which you can find here in the market screen in the blueprint section. Now as you can see they vary in price. You can get a $200,000 blueprint for an Acolyte drone. You can get your ammo blueprints if you want to be a little bit self-sufficient. It really is up to you and how much time and money you want to invest into the industrial side of things, whether you want to make things for yourself, for your corp, um, or actually branch out into the market and go into like commercial production. Um, and I, I've found that volume is the key to that. But anyway, look, you can get a Heron blueprint. You want to build yourself some frigates. They vary in price. You go up to destroyers. They've doubled in price pretty much to 11 million. The Dragoon Blueprint's 15 million. I'm not actually sure why they vary in price. Um, maybe they're rarer. Maybe it's because they need less materials. Who knows? We've also got one here. Look, uh, 113 million for a Caracal. 150 million for the Mower. So a little bit of variation in the prices, but I'm not sure why. If you know why, um, pop it in a comment. I'd be interested to know. Mining barges, if you're mining, you might want to put some of your ore aside to make yourself a nice new shiny barge. It's entirely up to you. Pretty much there are blueprints here for almost everything in the game at Tech 1 level. Tech 2 blueprints need to be researched or they can be found as loot. Even the structures here, look, you can buy yourself 70 million for a Fortizar. 70 billion, 6 billion for the little one, 700 billion for a blueprint for a Keepstar. There you go, something to aim for, but always check, I found, especially when you're an alpha, check the uh, information and the requirements, make sure you've got the skills to use it. We might have to come back to that later, because sometimes even I forget to do that. Right, we showed you all about how to mine and not die, and how to choose what to mine in the mining video, which is linked below. Here's all our lovely ore we've collected. Most of it is in the miasmos going off to be sold. As an alpha, probably, to be honest, the most sensible thing, isk-wise, to do. But here we are. We're going to do some building. It's quite nice to fly your own ship that you built yourself and keep your own little ammo going, I know. Um, it just depends on uh, how you want to play the game. It is entirely up to you. Skill-wise, very limited as an alpha. The industry skill itself, which we can take up to level 5, it only really uh, dictates the, the blueprints you can use. Um, so if you want to build some of the bigger stuff, then you're going to need to train that up. But also, please do check that you don't need secondary skills. Don't just assume that just by getting Industry 5, you can do that. Mass production is very simple. Each level of mass production, you get an extra production slot to uh, use a blueprint in. You start with one. Um, so level one gives you two, if you see what I mean. And this section of the industry screen here will just show you how your skills are affecting um, the number of slots you've got. And all those yellow dots mean that we're alpha, so we can't do it. <laughs> We have here some blueprint copies, which you find in contracts. Now, contracts can be a little bit scary uh, when you're a new player. The simpler the contract, the more safe it is. This is just for a blueprint copy that it tells you for one run. Uh, it's fully researched for the bonuses for materials and time. Mine isn't, but it's 10 runs, and I was given it. So um, you can pay about 185,000 uh, ISK for a one run copy. Or you can beg like I did. Here it's going to list what you need to build it. If there's anything on there you're not sure about, there you go. It'll tell you where you can get it asteroid-wise. I'm lucky because I had access to the moon mining, I've got some Arcanor. So I'm pretty much self-sufficient there. I didn't need to buy anything. But there you go. We looked at this a little bit in the mining video. Link below. Um, identify what you need. But that's how you do it from your blueprints. We've got the small ancillary shield booster, which you picked up as loot from a data site. We make three of those. They sell nice and easily. I don't particularly use them because at the moment all my um, ships are shield tank. We've got a missile blue, a scourge missile blueprint copy there, although I'm not actually going to build that just for a little bit of variety. We're going to take this one over, the small core defense field extender, because um, unlike the ship, the modules and the ammo, they're not made from ore, um, sorry, minerals produced from ores. They're made from the salvage that you either salvage from wrecks or that you can find on data sites. So we've got the um, 
asteroid ore, how do we get the minerals? Well, that's down to reprocessing, um, which is a very simple process. You just need to be in a station or a player owned structure which can reprocess. It's that little icon over on the right hand side of the screen, like the recycling icon. It's basically telling me here I'm not going to get much out of this. My efficiency is very low because I'm an alpha. I don't think it can go much higher. 54% efficiency. That's why, really. I'd suggest you might be, if you want to make the most, is just selling raw ore. You have a look here. Yeah, I've got my reprocessing skill up to level three, as high as it will go. I can't learn any of the secondary reprocessing skills because they're all yellow dots. So we're stuck where we are. But for this, to make your own stuff, you do need the minerals. So let's just go ahead and do it, shall we? So I've checked all of these. I've done some maps. This one here, as we said, that, that's made out of uh, the salvage materials because it's a rig. Uh, we've got the efficiency bonuses up there. Again, they're not fully maxed out. You'll actually find, we'll look at the research later, uh, the last 1% or 2% takes days and days and days. So that's why you often see ones that are a little bit less. The blueprint copies are also used for T2 research, but uh, alphas can't do that. So again, we've got all our list of ingredients here. We could, of course, just go and buy some megalocyte if we were short of it. We wouldn't have to go and find some Arcanor or some Biscot. That is always an option just to top up the supplies so i've checked through the blueprints and calculated what we need to build them this all up here will produce more than enough minerals um but there we go it's telling us here we're going to lose money in value just by doing it it tells us there what we're going to get charged for doing it we're doing it so let's click that button so now we've got the blueprints we've got the minerals so in theory we've got everything we need to build a cormorant so let's go ahead and use the blueprint but there's a problem um, when you start the game in your tutorial missions, there's a, there's a production facility in the station you're getting the missions. There's no production facility in this station, we're going to have to find one. So go onto the industry screen, um, which you can click on the icon over there on the left, or it's Alt S. Uh, and you want to set, set the range to search for stations. I've done it within five jumps, and right at the top here, one jump away, we've got the new cesspool, which sounds like a wonderful place, a player-owned structure, a writer room. Um, which is kind of just what we need and it has slots for everything that we want to do now you can check the stats here you can really shop around on the production side of things you will find that different stations have rigs basically to make them more efficient at producing particular hulls or particular bits of equipment uh, modules etc uh, have a little shop around i'm going to kind of keep it easiest because it's one jump away so we've got everything we need loaded up we're just going to check here Last thing I didn't set aside, just do our maths. We've got three, uh, we're going to do 10 runs on this blueprint. So we need 40 tripped power circuits, 40 burnt logic circuits, and 20 ward consoles. Oh, I found this lovely thing here. Look at that. Over 50 millions worth, hopefully. Yes, indeed, of uh, Tech 2 implant. I found that on another one of those lovely vigil sites that I did on my caracal. And, uh, yeah, I quite like those sites, but that's an aside. Let's get back to business. This is what we need to build. The efficiencies and our skills will give us a little bit left over. A blueprint will always tell you the base amount that you need to build the thing. It's not going to factor in any kind of bonuses or um, discounts. So um, I just take, I don't try to calculate that. I take what it says on the blueprint and I have some left over, as you'll see when we're done here. So we just get loaded up. There you go. Only want 40 of those. Thank you. If you need to um, just put a portion in, just hold shift as you drag up. And then it will let you type in how many you need to put in. Right, so here we are. The Nereus, the trusty Nereus is fully loaded. Apart from that, I nearly forgot. Always double check. Nothing like getting to the destination and realising you didn't load the truck. And off we go. And here we are. By the magic of editing, we're arriving at our destination in Duan's. The new cesspool. Let's have a little look at it. This is a player-owned structure, as I said. Um, they're usually the best places to do building, research, that kind of stuff. Because they've applied the rigs and uh, the bonuses are in effect. So thank you very much for the people who bother, <laughs> really, to do this. So it's not the industry I did a long time ago in some length. That was pre-Citadel days. So I'm just glad other people are doing that for me now. And our hosts today are Iron Oasis, thank you very much, 12 member corp. Um, they obviously put this station up, they save the money using it themselves and they also make the income from other people like me and you.
coming to use it as you can see it looks like they've been the uh, victim of a high sec war decker there but there you go as soon as you put a structure up you're eligible as a corp to be war decked and people will do that um, just because they want easy kills rather than actually fighting people as far as I'm concerned anyway in my humble opinion but there you go right so here we are we've got to move everything into the item hangar because you can't use anything from your ship now I'm going to make my little schoolboy error here I'm going to try to do some material research on this blueprint which is for a rig and I have neglected to check exactly what I asked you to check earlier and that is that I don't have the metallurgy skill and I cannot learn it so it looks like rigs alphas cannot do any research on but there's a lesson learned we'll do a bit of research later with a, uh, a suitable blueprint so let's get on with the production then shall we as we use the blueprints it's simply going to take the stuff it needs out of the item hanger until it runs out so uh, here we are with the shield extender we set the number of runs in there 10 and we just press start and as you can see it's going to take just over two and a half hours for that to complete we get charged a little fee up there and the uh, iron oasis corp make their money exactly the same process with all of these use blueprint now what you can do here obviously you can adjust the runs we've only brought enough stuff to build one cormorant if you look on these little tabs here it will show you exactly what's missing and if you can or you want to using the little tab here you can just uh, right click as I will show you and you can just buy the missing materials or buy all um, actually at the station we're at I don't think all of them are available for sale so it wouldn't work but I'm not going to do that because we only want to build the one but that's how you can uh, identify what's missing and get hold of it so there we go he's in and we'll just click the jobs tab there there you go there's a list of our jobs they're not long jobs at all so we just need to potter off do a few other things come back and pick everything up when everything's cooked basically exactly the same with the shield booster we want three runs of that to use the blueprint up got everything we need off we go only cost us 400 isk bargain thank you very much iron oasis for your hospitality that's what we've got left over off we go go and find something to do and we'll pop back later and pick up our stuff and indeed here we are we're heading back now anytime you can click on your industry screen um, again all s on your jobs tab it'll all be listed here you can set the destination back to the factory here um, in case you've forgotten exactly where it is which can happen i may have done that once or twice myself and you can just click these deliver buttons wherever you are in space those items will then be delivered to either the ship hangar or the item hangar in the station where they're being built as is appropriate as we will see right now so in the item hangar we've got our blueprints back well the cormorant blueprint because it has runs left on it we've got the uh we've got the rigs we've got the ancillary seal boosters and we've got our cormorant so we'll just make him get in him load him up with as much stuff as we can i think we'll have to leave a little bit of tritanium behind but uh we'll get most of this stuff back to base ready to use another day we've come back over to the same station to build some of the ammo from the blueprint we got out of the abyss and i've actually found that on the low level abyss sites uh, this is where the real money is so we're just gonna again it's exactly the same principles with a little bit of minerals i've got more than i need but that's okay and uh, i've got the uh the loot the crystalline isogen and the zero point condensate that you get out of the sites the blueprint came out of the sites as you can see that's all worth about seven million just over seven million isk not including the price of the blueprint so we're going to kind of double our money the ammo we're going to make here is going to be worth about 15 million so uh it's a very 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 quick build as well seven and a half minutes so i'm just going to sit here and wait that out go and sell them double my money brilliant okay i've popped over to dixie um i bought a blueprint look i can do some research on some other bits and pieces the tech 2 drones aren't actually for me they're for a friend because we like to do favors for friends and basically now i need to find somewhere to research it now i've gone back into the industry screen so we're going to look at this in a little bit more detail in regards to research now as you can see there's different bonuses applying on different stations that really depends on whether they've fitted rigs in their station there you go he's got a installed rig a 20 percent bonus to time on material efficiency there 
we're going to have a little look around. Now I found this one down here. This is perfect. This is for, this is rigged for both time and material efficiency, so it's going to be quicker. It's a little bit out of the way, but the blueprint is going to be staying there for a while. I'm not going to be uh, going back and forth too very often. So I'm going to take advantage of that. But using that screen, that is how you find the best place to take your uh, blueprints. So we, we're, we are allowed there. This is a three-man corp, basically, I suspect. Possibly a one-man corp. So well done you. You've obviously put a lot of work in to have your own uh, station out here. So we're simply going to put in what we need to put in. I'll put in the stuff to build some more ammo. Well, I'm not actually going to do that here. I'm going to do that closer to home because it is such a quick build. But here we go. So we've got the tabs here. Material efficiency. You can see here as we adjust the number of runs that the time goes up so it's quite short two hours two hours 20 minutes then we're up to four days for a full run so we're just going to do that once you get ship blueprints in there's for days i mean up 39 days i think i've just put a blueprint in for for one percent so there you go do your research build it with less and build it quicker right now i've got a little scraps container set aside here this is low-level loot. I mean, it comes to 300,000 isks worth, but that's not really much. Selling it is a bit of a pain. You either dump it on the market for much less than that. We're going to crush it and recycle it. You've got to move it into the item hanger. You just select it all. Do deselect the thing you want to keep, like the mobile tractor unit. And then we're simply going to reprocess it. So if you've got a load of junk knocking around in your hanger, then this is an option. I'm only getting 50%. Um, efficiency on this because uh recycling is kind of a different skill that i don't think an alpha can learn again so there you go i'm just going to do that it tells us there we're losing probably 30 percent of the value but if you want the minerals just to have them handy and you can't be bothered to ship that loot off either sell it for pennies or just faff about on uh sell orders the option is to stick it in the crusher Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. I really hope it's been useful because that's the whole point of it. Leave us a comment. Leave us a like, please, if you've liked it. Subscribe. When we get to 250 subs and it's 200 free today, I've got 250 million to give away. I've just got to think of how. Thanks a lot. Take care and fly safe.